powering the future will involve a lot of energy. Luckily, natural, sustainable energy is everywhere. All we have to do is capture it. On the remote Orkney Islands of Scotland, visioneers are harvesting power from the ocean tides. One of the reasons that Orkney is such a fantastic test site for wave and tide energy is that it is literally the collision between the North Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. And these two places meet and create these extraordinarily strong tides, as well as very, very high waves. Twice every day, tidal activity fills and then drains the North Sea Basin with billions of gallons of water from the Atlantic Ocean enough water to raise and lower the surface of the North Sea by 17 feet. That flow of water of thousands of cubic meters of seawater becomes accelerated and you get very, very fast flows. And that's where we can generate a lot of power. And that tidal power is being captured by an engineering marvel called the O2. The O2 is a is an incredibly striking piece of engineering innovation. It looks something across between a giant aircraft and a spacecraft. The O2 is literally a floating power station the size of a 747 and weighing in at approximately 680 tons. Two massive rotors beneath the water are turned by the force of the tides. The energy they generate is collected and fed into a cable back to shore directly into the electric grid. It's in fact the most powerful tidal turbine in operation. And that kind of power can generate enough clean electricity to meet the demands of 2,000 UK homes for a year. In fact, just 1% of the world's wave power can generate enough electricity for 50 million homes. The O2 is massive, but it didn't start out that way. I traveled to the Scottish capital of Edinburgh to visit a state-of-the-art wave testing pool. Here, engineers use small models to test many different designs. Wave tank testing gives us information for guiding us in the behavior of the machine in real sea conditions at full scale. It's conceptually very simple. Our technology is two hulls connected by a hinge. Waves cause a reciprocating back and forth rotation of the hinge uh, that drives a generator, uh, an electrical generator that produces electrical power. This model will be 40 times larger in its final working form. My vision is to see these you know, weird and exciting machines in the water, providing power and energy security and jobs for uh, islands and coastal communities and deploy this technology around the world.